Hello everybody, today we're going to discuss about Ampere 2 sample t-test in our uh, software. And the Ampere 2 sample t-test is used to compare the mean of two unrelated group or two independent group. In order to run this, uh, this type of uh, t-test, you must uh, consider two things. The first one is the assumption of normality, and the second one is the assumption of homogeneity of variance or equal variance among uh, the group. So we will uh, perform t-test as well as we will perform or we will display the result of t-test in the graph. So in order to do that, you have to run all this uh, package into your R software. Then let's create our uh, example or our data frame here. GYK is the first, the first uh, mean of the grain yield and the second one is the grain yield D is the other, the mean of the yield. Can indicate that maybe it is uh, actually it's not maybe and it is the coral variety and d means it is the target variety so let's create numeric value by this way and you can use your uh, example in this way so type this and submit to our studio again let uh, run this one again yeah then uh, if you want to convert in the form of data frame so you can use, uh, you can assign any name that you want here. And again, you have to use a function, uh, data.frame, then under the parentheses, the varieties means, here is K and D is my groups. So my group is varieties, then the replication is 10. We, we, well, that means I'm telling to R to consider all 10 observations. So the this one, will be yield 10 result again this one will yield 10 result so the group name or the variety name is Cora and Dagen so I, I want to compare the mean of unrelated group that means the grain yield of Cora variety is different from the grain yield of what Dagen so it is equal to 10 means our number of observation then the response variable that I'm going to measure is yield so GY stands for the grain yield then I assigned the GYK standards for the mean grain yield of what? The Cora variety. And again, the GYD standards for the mean grain yield of Dagen variety. So I, I can uh, you can convert these vectors or numeric vectors in the data frame using this uh, function. So type this and submit to our studio. Then if, um, sorry, GYD is not found. So let's submit this one. I hope it will it will work now. Yes. Then if you want to view your data, so it, it will be formed this way. So I have two varieties, namely Cora and uh, Dagen. Cora and Dagen. Then the response variable here is the yield. So I want to compare their mean performance by taking their uh, uh, yield performance. So by this way, we can convert the numeric vectors into data frame. As I mentioned before, in order to run t-test, uh, especially the unpaired t-test, you have to check the normality assumption using the Shapiro-Wilkes method, as well as the equal variance using the VART test method, Levin test method, Bartlett test method. So you can use uh, all these uh, techniques or you can select as one of these techniques to check the equal, uh, the equal variance among the uh, independent groups. So to do that, to do that, you have to use the function with then data means what you created here, then the uh, normality test uh, that the normality test is used. Uh, if you want to test the normality test, you have to use the Shapiro dot test method. Then uh, the mean of what our yield. So you have to indicate the group is varieties. Then Cora in this way. So um, this will help us from this help us to check the Cora variety mean yield normality uh, test. So type this and submit to our studio. Then as you can see, here is a p-value is 0.56, which indicates that if the p-value is greater than uh, 0 0.05, uh, so the assumption is not validated or the assumption of normality is um, fit. Again, you can also do for other varieties, means the Dagen, then you can check what it is yield. So uh, type this and submit to our studio. Again, this, sorry, I think this Y is small. 
so in order to uh, do in order to get this one so you have to type why he's a capital as all of you know that r is uh, kids sensitive so type this and submit to our studio again the dagen uh, variety that means the yield performance on the dagen variety again the, the p-value is 0.18 so the assumption for the normality for both a variety that means a cora and dagen and the response variety that means yield is uh, not valid so it is okay so the second one is checking of what equal variance or homogeneity of variance. As I mentioned before, you can use the VAR test, the VAR dot test is especially used when you have only to compare uh, two mean values. But if you have uh, more than two mean values, you have to use the Bartlett test when your normality is, um, when the assumption of normality is not violated. And again, Levin test used when your the assumption of normality is violated. So in this example, I used I will use the bar test method. Then you have to indicate here is the uh, the response variable. Then as explained by the varieties, the varieties is two Cora and Dagen, and you have to indicate that it's equal to data. So by this way, you can check the yeah, equal variance or homogeneity of variance among unrelated groups. So accordingly, the uh, the p-value here is uh, zero point one. Uh, 5 which is uh, greater than 0 0.05 so the assumption there is equal variance among the two groups but if uh, you are going to analyze the PED t-test this assumption is not uh, mandatory or this assumption is not uh, required so let's come to how to uh, perform the t-test that means unpaired t-test so uh, you have to assign any name that you want I assigned here is t then I use you have to use the function t dot test then you have to indicate the first variable that means uh, the response the varieties uh, performance for example here is the green yield of Cora variety and again GYD stands for green yield of what Dagen variety and you have to indicate var equal to, is equal to true so that means Unpaired uh, to sample t test, the assumption of equal variance is what it is must. So, GYK means it is response um, the green yield of what the Cora variety, then you can compare to that of what the green yield of what Dagen variety. So, for those that created into what in the numeric, as, as you can see here, the numeric. If your data is this way, you have to use this uh, code. This code. So type this and submit to our studio, then let's uh, display uh, the result. Yes. Accordingly, the mean of uh, their p-value is what? 0 0.04. So the mean of x means the, the, the one that comes first is x, and the one that comes second is considered as y. So the mean of x, that means the mean of uh, grain yield of Cora variety is 51.91, uh, while the grain yield of the Dagen variety is 69.54. This means that uh, there is what statistically significant difference among what the two uh, varieties in their mean grain yield performance. In similar fashion, if you if you uh, import your data in this form or uh, what we created here in the data frame so you have to use uh, this uh, method both will yield the same result so you have to use you have to assign here any name that you want here i assigned it as t2 then t dot test then yield is what our response variable as you can see here then as explained by what varieties so as you can see here it's varieties then uh, that has a color to data then you have to indicate uh, var uh, dot equal that means there is homogeneity of variance among the group so you have to indicate this one and submit to our studio then you will get this uh, result so in similar uh, similarly 69.54 and uh, 51.19 for the cora their mean values of their varieties and there again it is what statistically significant so let's continue uh, to draw or to display 
the t-test result in a graph. So in order to do that, you have to use uh, this function. In fact, this is not my objective. So this helps us to display the mean and the standard deviation as well as the number of observations. So you can run this by yourself. So coming to our um, uh, objective, that means uh, creating of what the t-test result in the, or displaying the TTS, the TTS result in graph. So you have to use the ggpeber uh, um, uh, uh, package, then again you have to use the function ggboxplot and you have to indicate data. This has equal to data, since our data name is data, then the you have to label the x-axis which call us to varieties and the y is the response variable which is uh, the yield according to our uh, data so x-axis will take the varieties and the y-axis will take the response variable or the yield so come come back to again uh, come back to our uh, uh, code the color is equal to varieties so we have to different varieties that means a cora and a dagen so we will we'll expect what two colors then the palette is equal to i select this one and you can choose the palette by yourself then the y lab means the y axis so the y axis is granule in the form of a quintal per hectare maybe for you is kilogram per hectare or maybe in the form of ton per hectare then the x lab which is def variety so the varieties stands for what for the tape varieties that means a cora and dagen. So type this and submit to our studio. And then you can run this one. We will get our graph in this form. Yes. So we have uh, two uh, varieties, uh, two tape varieties. The first one is a cora, and the second one is uh, the dagen. And again, here is the y-axis is uh, printed in the form of what quintal uh, per hectare. Then again, if you want uh, to leave, uh, if you want to show the p-value uh, and leave the uh, decision to the uh, uh, readers, so you have to use the stat dot test. Uh, you can assign any name that you want, but I assigned here is stat dot test. And we call us to data that means our data name maybe for you is maybe t test so you have to use that uh, t test data name then maybe it's your name maybe the sample name then you have to use connect this pipe then the pairwise t test then in the parentheses the response variable is yield and it's explained by variety paired is equal to uh, false then you have to use here is the uh, p adjustment paired is equal to false means um, these observations are what uncorrelated or the observation are come from what from independent group so you have to adjust using the Ben Ferroni uh, method so type this and submit to our studio then start uh, then we can also add xy position so x will text the varieties so type this again then finally, we can uh, display our graph that contain what the p value. So what we created here is the pp, that means this uh, graph, plus the stat p value manual. Fun you have to use plus the stat p value manual function, then stat dot test, then level is equal to p. So p means the p value. Then plus the scale y continuous and expand. You can use this uh, technique, then type this and submit to our studio. Then let's see our graph that displaying with what with p value. So accordingly, the decision will be the p value is uh, less than 0 0.05. So there is a statistical significance difference of the uh, two varieties, that means Cora and the Dagen, in the mean grain yield performance. Then again, uh, if you want uh, to, to display as a resonance significant or, or if you want to display the asterisk, in order to do that, you have to use the PP is what you created here, uh, then start P value manual, 
then you have to use start.test start.test means here what we created here first we created here then we add x y positions then start level is equal to what p adjust significant so if the if there is no statistical difference among the two groups it will be what ns but if it is uh, significant it will put a single asterisk or double asterisk then detail is equal to true means it will uh, give all the results so type this and submit to our studio then let's see yes so as you can see here by looking the asterisk there is a statistical significance difference in the mean green yield performance among the two uh, varieties so by this way we can uh, display the asterisk or you can display the p value then finally you have to save your uh, final figure using the dtc function and the file name is equal to uh, you can assign any name then the plot is for example if i want to create this plot so i will type this o uh, i'll type this o but if i if i want the lp one so you have to type lp and you can adjust the width the height and the uh, pixel then the units also so this is all about the uh, impaired uh, two sample t-test in our software so if you have any question regarding to my tutorial you can address me through uh, youtube the youtube comment box as well as uh, through my email thank you for watching have a nice time